Legends of the Ring of Fire. Why the Sun Chases the Moon. A tale from Indonesia. Long, long ago, when the Earth was new, there were nine suns in the sky. The heat from the nine suns was intense, and soon the Earth became parched. And the days grew unbearably hot. One day, after a very hot day, the people assembled on a hill and waited till the moon was full. Then they called out to her, O great mother of a thousand stars, save us from the power of the nine scorching suns. The gracious moon felt sorry for the people and replied, I have a plan but you must hurry and bring me as many leaves from the beetle tree as you can. The people scurried around gathering all the beetle leaves they could find and gave them to the moon. The moon quickly set to work. She built a great wall from all the clouds in the sky and hid her stars behind it. She then chewed the beetle leaves and spat them out. Soon the horizon was red, as if a great wave of blood had flowed over it. When the suns rose, the father sun was shocked to see the red sky and asked the moon, has someone been killed? The moon smiled and said, yes, I have eaten all my stars. Hiding behind the clouds, the stars chuckled. My stars were delicious, said the moon. You should eat your suns too. They will taste much better because they are so much bigger. Overcome by temptation and hunger, the father's son swallowed his eight suns. But the sun soon discovered that the moon had tricked him. Angrily, he chased her, but she ran away, getting smaller as each day passed. She hid for a few nights, but the people prayed for her return. And so she came back, thin, but growing by the day, until she was full again. And to this day, it goes on. That is why the sun chases the moon over our skies. In the ring of fire we see legends forever true and how they came to be.